Ladies and gentlemen, it has come to my attention as of late that there are a lot of experts that watch YouTube videos, including mine. I have one person who said she contacted the Federal Reserve Bank, just as the instructions said, to contact your local Federal Reserve Bank and to inquire about the documents that are necessary for applying for the capacity to borrow funds from the Federal Reserve Bank. They're saying that that doesn't apply to you. So she says she's contacted three different people and in her research, she doesn't know why I am suggesting to people that operating circular number 10 applies to them. So I'm going to do this for the sake of all of you who are lacking the capacity to understand how I communicate because you don't understand me and that right there is just going to piss me off. Let me help you understand something. When you go to the bank and apply for a loan, what in the, do you think you're doing? What law do you think you're operating under? But I've shown you the law. I even showed you where it originated. I even gave you the definition of what any means in statute. Since the statute doesn't define it, then the ordinary meaning applies but that wasn't good enough. So I went a step further. I went and showed you how when you apply for a loan through a local Federal Reserve agent, you see, but that only applies to the member banks. Well, pay attention, morons. That's right, you heard me. If it applied to the member banks, then why not with the member banks be applying to another bank for the issuance of Federal Reserve notes when they can just apply to the Federal Reserve Bank. Well, they go to the discount window. Why do they need to go to the discount window? Why can't they go directly to the Federal Reserve Bank? But that is the discount window. And you guys just don't understand, do you? They go to the discount window to get extensions, not of credit, but of Federal Reserve notes for the individuals requesting to borrow money from the Federal Reserve. Well, can the banks borrow money from the Federal Reserve? Of course they can, but so can you. If you couldn't borrow money from the Federal Reserve, of what benefit would the law exist and be for? Now, I apologize because I just used simple logic right there with you. I could have gone through the law, but I've already done that. Then I had another person email me, explaining to me <laughs> what a bank is. Any more of you mother <clears throat> who are going to try to tell me what the law is contradicting what I've shown you, because you can't contradict it. You see, not only have I shown it to you, but I've shown it to you from many different sources how it applies. I will block you from contacting me. The email simply says you don't get the comment on any video via email. That's why the comments are turned off. But apparently some people are not getting the message. <sighs> you see, it is so nice when we're able to get an understanding. How dare you sit up here and think you're going to educate me. Now, I, I apologize. If you think that I can't learn something, of course I can. But how in the world do you think that you're going to sit up here and just send me an email and the guy used United States code. Hold on. Let, let's do something right here. Wake up. The United States code is codified and compiled by the Law Revision Council, comma, who do not represent the Senate, but the House of Representatives. Stop listening. The Law Revision Council is a division of the House. They are an executive agency. Wait, hold on. You are correct. The United States Code is codified and compiled by the Office of Law Revision Council, which is an office under the United States House of Representatives and not the Senate. 
No, let me help you out, people! If the United States Code was law, it would have to be the House and the Senate enacting it. The United States Code was never enacted by Congress, only the title. That's why it's called positive law title. But I have people trying to educate me. I don't understand it. That's like a five-year-old trying to tell his 10th grade teacher what time lunch is. Oh, I'm sorry, if you didn't get that, a five-year-old doesn't belong in a 10th grade. So he ain't got no business understanding what time lunch is. Okay, so let me do this for you. The reason why many of you are running into roadblocks is because your research is shabby, your efforts are shabby, and you don't know what you're doing. So if you are not getting the answers you think you should be getting, then stop looking because you don't know what you're looking for. Do you know where you're running to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you running to? Do you know? You have no clue. But you offended us when you said that. Well, how offensive do you think it is for me to get email after email constantly all day from people asking questions all day long? And then they don't just ask one question. I got one person who asked at least five to 10 questions a day because I did a consult with the person. I gave them the information, spent, well, the person got two consults, spent over eight hours communicating with this person. Actually, when you count the pre-quote, over nine hours communicating with this person, answering their questions. I told him, I said, hey, if you have any questions regarding the consult, Go ahead and text me and I will answer the question. I will not answer a litany of questions, but if I have time, I will answer the question. This person literally wants me to do research with them, wants me to confirm what they're researching. And I told them that's not how this works. Ladies and gentlemen, a consult is just a consult. Hold on, let me get perplexity to explain it to us because, no, we're going to go to chat GPT. We're we, we going to go to my boy chat. Okay, because he can explain what a consult is. No, we are not going to do chat GPT folk. Uh-uh, we're going to go to three. Three, watch this. Wake up. Can you explain what a consult or a consultation is? Stop listening. Thank you, chat GPT. Watch this. Wake up. No, I will not clarify. Just answer the question. Question mark. These are two words, and they both convey the same meaning. So answer the question and stop wasting my time. Stop listening. The exclamation marks denotes anger. That's why he's apologizing. See, he says there might be uh, some misunderstanding when I asked him to explain. It wasn't entirely clear what you were referring to in the aspects of what you wanted to explain. Wake up. He could be correct. Wake up. Give me the definition of consult. Close quote. Open quote. Stop listening. <sighs> let me let him tell you because I'm tired. Certainly. The term consult typically refers to seeking advice or guidance from someone with expertise or knowledge in a particular area. It involves asking for recommendations, opinions, or information to help make decisions or solve problems. In a professional context, consulting often involves providing expert advice or services to clients or organizations on specific matters. Wake up. Does it involve mentorship or tutorials or teaching courses?
Stop listening. One second. While mentorship, tutorials, and teaching courses can sometimes be part of a consulting arrangement, not a part of this one. Not inherently part of the definition. Not a part of this one. Consulting primarily involves providing advice, guidance, or services based on expertise or specialized knowledge Yay! in a particular field. Imagine this that. Can include offering recommendations, Look at strategies, that. Oh. or solutions to clients no. and organizations to help them achieve their goals or Man. specific challenges. However, depending on the nature of the consulting mm -hmm. engagement, you better believe it. Mentorship, tutorials, or teaching courses may be included. Not in here. Additional services to support the clients. Not here. So, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people want to know how to perfect their processes. I'll talk about it. If I have the answer, I'll give it to them. But this is not where I walk you through it and hold your hand the whole way through. Not going to happen. Look, I have a lot of people who, uh, right now, a lot of people who are dealing with court. They literally are dealing with courts, and they don't know what to do next. And they know the attorney ain't going to tell them what to do. The attorney going to tell them, well, I can take your case, but, you know, you're going to have to pay me. Ladies and gentlemen, I give them at least five to seven options, and I help them put together the petitions. I want y'all to see something, I, I because I, I like this right here. This is a lawsuit to the Federal Reserve. We're we about to take these mother to court. Ladies and gentlemen, what I did, let me make sure y'all see this. This is a long, long, drawn-out conversation because I just have to go proofread it now. This is the outline. That's the outline. See, I did the outline. Woo-wee, did, did the outline. Look at that. Just empty, nothing there. And then to finish it up, I just told ChatGPT what I wanted. And I just said, change these words up. I used it as my paralegal. That's right. I'm going to suggest y'all use ChatGPT as your paramalegal. You'll put together the outline. I got a young lady I got to work with today. Watch this. Hold on. I've already done the consult with the young lady, but this is the follow-up. She, she ran into a problem, and I told her I had a sister. She's already called me at 5 a.m. Uh-uh, not my time. Lord have mercy, can't handle that. So watch what we're going to do. I have a matter before the Florida District Court, and I'm appealing a case of driving without a license or on a suspended license, comma, having no insurance, comma, and resisting arrest, whereby an officer has claimed I assaulted him. Period. The court did not allow me to have a jury trial when the Constitution for the state of Florida says that trial by jury, every person in a civil or criminal matter shall have the right to a trial by jury. Period. This is not a statutory right, and thus there cannot be any statutory prohibitions to a trial by jury. Period. The issue of license, comma, I was accused of operating a motor vehicle on a suspended license, comma, provide the definition for operating, and we don't want it in the context of driving. We want the legal definition of operating to be incorporated in this petition, comma, and then recognize that it does not entail personal business, comma, household business, comma, personal use, comma, non-commercial use, exclamation mark. In fact, the federal code statute, Title 18, Section 30, specifically says that driving a motor vehicle implies traveling while engaged in commercial activities. 
comma, there was only a presumption that I was traveling in commercialism when I was not. Period. There was no evidence placed on the record, and it was the duty of the alleged prosecutor to provide such proof on the record upon demand. Period. The court denied me the right to call witnesses. Tama told me if I didn't accept its offer, that it was going to proceed with a bench trial that afternoon, giving me no time to prepare. Period. Told me it was not going to answer any of my questions. Period. It was obvious that I didn't understand what was going on. Comma, I asked the court about its jurisdiction. Comma, I asked the prosecution what was the jurisdiction and the nature of the charges. Comma, and neither took the time to answer. Period. I had a bond valued at $50,000 that was registered. Comma, and the court said that that did not constitute insurance when under the liability laws of the state of Florida, comma, any individual who has a value or net worth of $500,000 or more can provide their own insurance. Comma, the court said that my proof of Liability proof proof coverage for fifty thousand dollars was insufficient and violated state law. I objected, yet there was no proof supporting the conclusion of the court, of which I demanded the court to provide, period. The Florida revised statutes are written by a legislative committee and not by the legislature. The legislative committee are not members of Congress as required by the legislative process outlined and delineated in the Florida State Constitution, which means that I have the right to challenge the constitutionality of the statute being applied in all three instances of the charges. Comma, the court ignored my challenges. Period. Jurisdiction and challenge to the constitutionality of a statute may be raised at any time, even on appeal. Comma, the court is cognizant of this and ignored all of these safeguards in protecting my rights, period. I am now petitioning for a stay pending appeal, and I am doing so within my notice of appeal. And I still have the $50,000 bond that I can post pending appeal. I'm asking for any judgment of the court to be stayed immediately as the court is trying to affect my livelihood by claiming that by not having proof of insurance, I was committing a financial crime, which is a huge stretch, to say the least. Exclamation mark. I need a notice of appeal and petition for a stay pending appeal template incorporating the aforementioned information. Comma, do not change the context. Comma, do not import your own opinion. Comma, you will stay within the context of the information and instructions provided herein. Is that understood? Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Stop listening. I know it's supposed to be a 
question mark, but there's a question mark right down here. And if I say question mark, that little screen will pop up and then I won't be able to get nothing done. So that's just the way it is. Tick tock. Oh, by the way, this is the same thing I told you guys you can do when creating a motion. All you got to do is tell it what you want. Okay? And then you just polish it up. One of those, ta-da! But as I tell everybody, they have to go over the rules. It's not my job to go over the rules of the court for you. Because each court has its own separate rules. Although similar to other court rules, not the same. Okay, yeah, I, I can I can do that. I, I can leave that alone. I don't have to polish this up, but let me tell y'all what y'all do when you're dealing with chat GPT. Watch this. Wake up. That is not a notice of appeal and petition for a stay. Comma, that thing was so unprofessional. Comma, and you did not incorporate all of the points I told you to incorporate, and then you stayed and strayed away from the context of what I told you, comma, I told you not to mess with my research. Stop listening. I apologize. Let me give you something <laughs> you deserve because you asked for it. <sighs> Ta-da! And that's how you handle ChatGPT. No special prompts. You're not producing anything legal. There are no names. Since there are no party names, there are no signatures, there are no dates, there are no court names. It's just a generic document. And all you do is edit it, people. Let me say it again. Ta-da. Just that simple. It's just a notice of appeal. A notice of appeal literally just needs to say notice of appeal. But we're going to put in here the appealability of the cases. Watch this. Wake up. Wake up. You did not incorporate my right to appeal. Comma, you did not incorporate the fact that the law for the state of Florida only requires an individual have proper coverage in case they were in an accident to show that if they were to receive a judgment against them, that the other party would be made whole. And liability in the state of Florida is $10,000, comma, $50,000 is most assuredly enough to cover the liability requirements, period. As liability in the state of Florida, respecting coverage under the liability law does not necessarily require insurance, just liability coverage, period. Put the Florida statute regarding this and its wording and or language embedded in the document. Period. You're also going to put the Florida statute regarding bonding a case on appeal. Exclamation mark. You're also going to explain how this appeal is viable and in all likelihood the appellant should prevail. Comma. And the stay should be granted. Period. You're also going to put, we requested the judicial officer's bond information because it is clear the judicial officer acted in clear absence of all jurisdiction by denying the accused their right to call witnesses period if they are being accused of not having a license then they have the right to call the licensing director for the state which is the director of the department of motor vehicles exclamation mark if they are being accused of operating a motor vehicle and the definition for operating you did not include in the petition as I instructed you to, comma, requires a member of Congress to explain, including the challenge to the so-called revised statutes as to whether or not 
it is a proper enactment of legislative power. Period. You did not include the fact that I had a right to a trial by jury in all civil matters. Comma, I told you don't leave anything out, and you left all of this out, so now you will redo it, incorporating all of this information as I directed you. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. You said it was simple. It is simple. Most people don't know that they have to do all of this. That's why they contact me. Ladies and gentlemen, a motion is just nothing but a letter to the court. Just that simple. I mean, literally, just that simple. It ain't complicated. Attorneys, oh, they make it look good. And they make it look, oh, no, they don't make it look nothing. Okay? The rules are right there. You just need to understand how to put together the letter. And you look at that. You look at that. Uh-oh. No, he didn't do that. He said operating a motor vehicle. I didn't say nothing about no operating no stupid motor vehicle. I said operating. We'll take care of that. Wake up. Wake up. What is the legal definition of, open quote, to operate, close quote, and, open quote, operate, close quote, and, I need you to give me the Florida statutes as I asked you for liability. Stop listening. I did not wake up. I did not ask you about context, comma, I asked you for the legal definition of, open quote, to operate, close quote, and, open quote, operate, close quote. You will give me the answers to my question within the context of the question. And my question was specific, you idiot. Stop listening. Sorry, we, we sometimes have a misunderstanding. It sometimes it wants to do. Wake up. Did I ask you for the legal definition for Florida? Stop listening. That is, wake up. I didn't wake up. I did not ask you anything about being in control of a motor vehicle. I said, what is the definition of operate, you moron? Sorry. I do not want the definition for operating a motor vehicle. I want the definition of, open quote, to operate, close quote. I don't want you to give me contextual definitions. I want you to give me the general definition. Exclamation mark. And you will provide the Florida statute for liability and the definition for liability coverage, according to the Florida statute. Stop listening. Sorry, you guys have to do the same thing. You'll have to go back to the original question so that you can take care of the idiot when he's doing something. Okay, now pay attention. A piece of machinery or equipment, it does not pertain to vehicles, but can apply to any system that requires human control. Okay, here's the problem. Ladies and gentlemen, when you're driving, 
to and from the store, you are not operating a motor vehicle. Operate implies expertise, such as machinery in a factory. Hey, I didn't say that. They said that. Driving a car does not require such expertise. Hold on. Florida statute covering liability. Liability covers typically refers to financial protection against damages to individuals that might legally be required as part of their pay. Now, watch this. Wake up. Wake up. You will incorporate this into the petition as I asked you to, exclamation mark. And it is clear by your definition, comma, that operate implies some sort of expertise or occupational skills, comma, driving an automobile to the store does not require such ex expert skills or training as in the case of operating machinery. So operate only applies to someone who is in business and does not apply to household use, commercial use, comma, consumer goods, comma, personal goods, comma, but You know this, and such is implied in the Florida statute, as the law does not apply to individuals who are taking care of household business, comma, personal business, as such cannot be licensed under law, period. No state can convert a right into a privilege, and to require a license would mean to convert it to a privilege, exclamation mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the end of this tutorial. I just thought I would show you because there are a lot of experts out there and I don't want to step on anybody's toes. I got so many people trying to tell me what I know and what I should know. And I knew that call was coming, so I got to go. Have a good day, y'all.